guess we're all in now. Let's get a bigger set, let's get a bigger set, boys. Get a bigger set. The pocket king's incoming. With a little three bit. Mr. 10 8 suited over here. And we'll start with the Seabird. This room seems a lot better than the rooms I'm playing in here. The tables are like four or five Russians a year. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm guessing that means you're in Vegas. But in Vegas, I'd be playing like, I'd probably be playing some reasonably high stakes, I'd like to think. So maybe avoid all the Russian bomb hunters at the 5, 10, 10, 20. I'd like to jump straight into the 100, 200 if I could. Uh, three bit here in a cold call. I think we do see bit flop. Take it down. Three bidding table three. So the C bit. And then I'll try and get the showdown, but is the right way to do that to block? Well, he's kind of leaning into me. I don't think I'm ready to fold yet. Yes, we show it down. Good luck, us. 7 6. Ah! The old queen turn off, boys. You see what I mean? Now, I mean, I can't. I'm. 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 Slightly frustrated when those things happen because I'm just used to like different ranges, but I shouldn't be because this is the kind of shit you want to see. I'm actually going to lead this flop. It suits my hand to make him just snap folds and king queens and king jacks as well. And on the turn, don't pick any extra equity, so I'm going to give up. Especially when the backdoor flush com comes in. Oh, I didn't realize if I press fold, it was going to automatically check me down. I asked you if you find the 200 zoom pool. Do you have a decent win rate enough to show your win rate? Um, so I haven't played 200 zoom in a while. Um, I'd say over my entire sample of 200 zoom, which I'd have to hunt down on other laptops and computers, etc. I think I was winning about two and a half big blinds, but what you have to realize about that is most of the start of my tuna zoom career was probably losing, and there was a while of breaking even um, before I actually like turned that around. So towards the end, I would say that my win rate of tuna zoom was above five. I don't know whether it'd be like that today, but when I was like in my heyday, I would have. Um, I would have been pretty confident my window was above five or two in a zoom. Uh, but the, the thing is, once you start, once you sort of have a win rate, you, you move up pretty fast. So you never really stay at a limit that long when you do start bidding it, because like moving up just makes way more money. So like, for example, if you're winning at 200 zoom, well, the best thing, to, the best example I give people is like, say, say you're winning at 100 zoom for five big blinds. So let's say you're four tabling, thousand hands an hour, roughly, I know this is guess, then you're making $50 an hour. If you move up to 200 zoom and your win rate halves, you're making the same amount of money. Now, first of all, 200 zoom is not twice as hard. So you're actually gonna make more money by moving up because you're only going to go to three. So now you're making $60 an hour already. And the players are tougher. So when you do you know, learn things, you are gonna improve faster as well. So moving up, so like, even though you got your win rate up to five at the end of your, of your 100 zoom career, your graph will probably only show like two because most of your start of your career isn't accounted for, if that makes any sense. Long way just to find that you'll see a two and a half win weight graph from me, but you'll see a, and then straight up. Six five pseudo, take a free card, please dealer. Yeah, people keep asking me, which I find hilarious, whether, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Usually though, you should not min race in many situations. <laughs> People keep asking me whether um, 200 rush is, is harder than 500 zoom. Now, skill-wise, clearly it's 500 zoom is way harder, but you know there's other factors too, like the rake, and um, I mean, I, this is kind of fucked now because, um, this is kind of fucked because I don't have spades, and I don't, re uh, I guess just have to bluff. Pray fold spades, I mean, he's tanking, so he hasn't got spades, but fold, please. Ah, well I can't call with six high. 
But I want to three a pot with ace-king when this guy does weird stuff, so that was also good. Three betting king and queen suited. How would you compare the online game versus live stuff in Vegas? How are the games compare, or is it too different to call? Um, so I would say that if you're being 100 zoom, I'm going to fold this on stars, then you're quite comfortably beating 510 live. Now, the problem people have when they do start playing live, especially if they play low stakes live, like say 1-2, one, 1-3, one, maybe even 2-5, is that they play like super micro stakes. Like there's limping and like it can be pretty tough to um, to adjust to all that. To be honest, 5-10, sometimes 2-5 is where it starts playing like an online game again. Um, got a spot here where we're going to check raise big, I think. And we're going to go for, I guess we go small on the turn now. King three, we take it down the turn. And I guess we're all in now. Let's get a bigger set, let's get a bigger set, boys. Get a bigger set? Yep. Well, that happens too sometimes. And at least we've got this tournament ticket to say that we, uh, to say how happy, to say even Gigi knows that was a bad beat. So, uh, good. Any plans on the Ginger Academy returning? Yes. The Ginge Poker video series is now live. Head over to gingepoker.com if you want to start your path to financial freedom. Hope to see you there. Yeah, so if you're playing like one, if you're being like 51 Zoom, you're, you're crushing the 510 in Vegas, in my opinion. Um, you might have to adjust a little bit to live, but once you get to 510 plus, it does play like an online game. Um, so there's not as much limping and not as much uh, playing 10 way to flops, which some people will struggle with. That being said, it might still happen, which is fantastic. Learn to deal with it. What well, bankroll manager do you set for shot taking moving up? I, I personally recommend being extremely aggressive with it uh, because think about it like this. Um, if you're winning at 100 zoom for three bigs and you're being 200 zoom for like one big, like it's, if you're being 100 zoom for three big blinds, you're making $30 an hour. If you move up to 200 zoom and you're now winning at two big blinds, you're making $40 an hour. So every hour that you play at 100 zoom, is you're losing ten dollars by not being at the highest limit you should be. So you want to move up aggressively, but obviously be careful with it. I'd probably say it's somewhere between twenty and twenty-five blind shots, to be honest. But obviously, moving down if you if you lose like five blinds, you will play against better players, but not significantly better. That it's like fuck me, you're gonna that the game's gonna change. Not sure why you didn't value bit that one. Five and nines. Three bit. Oh, I, I didn't mean to see about that big. I thought it was C bidding. Sorry, three bidding. Don't like that he calls a large size and we turn a diamond. We are all in on table one and we will agree to run it twice. He checks back the turn and river of five, so we'll check again. King, he's, he's magically hit on the second run out that he was all in with king four for some reason. Nines, this guy's checked the turn. River five, what are you thinking, son? Okay. So you make your flush. I can see why you're scared. Why wouldn't you call for a flush and then uh, check it down? I mean, seems good to me. Why, you know, call for something that you're not sure about if it's a good hand or not. But um, thank you, I guess. Guess they all feel sorry for me. Park of fours, we're gonna start wrapping this up. So we'll call this one. We brick. Showdown, sort of. Maybe a little bit of showdown. No more showdown. At least we chop against eights. Chop against eights. Don't chop against ace king, but that was a bad river. Thank you for tuning in everyone. Uh, got some big announcements coming soon and uh, see you guys on the next one. Show